Hi, this is a quick tutorial for how to access uh, different elements of Office 365, Microsoft Office, Outlook, uh, OneNote, etc. Um, you can do this on your iPad or on a desktop. Um, part of the issue um, is that for students, um, the email client is not enabled on their iPad. The app is not enabled for them. So <clears throat> in order to access their school email, they need to go through a browser window. I'm doing this on Chrome uh, on my desktop. You could just open up Chrome or Safari and it would be essentially the same thing. All right, so you just go to Office 365. I just searched for it. It is right there. Okay, you click on the link. Okay, you want to go to sign in, right? There it is right there. Okay, and it's a little different than Schoology. You sign in. Uh, for teachers, you're still using your email. Students, you're using uh, the same way you log into Schoology, but you add the at ntschools.org. All right, next. Okay, it's going to want a password. Students, this is and is always your student ID. Teachers, all right, think about how you log into your desktop computer during the day. That is also your password here. Right? The same way you log into the network is the same as your Microsoft login, right? So I'm going to put mine in there. Hopefully it doesn't show it to everybody. So you can hack me, right? Sign it. Right, I'm going to stay signed in here. Think about what sort of computer you're on. If you are on a public computer, then you don't want to stay signed. Okay, if you're on your desktop at home, <clears throat> right, you can go now access anything your little heart desires, um, web-based, right? So if you're looking for email, there you go, Outlook students. This is how you can access your Outlook. You can see I have lots of things going on here, right, Mr. Bree, Mr. Burgess, et cetera. Okay, so this is how you log into Office 365.